Hey there, after I created my Zigbee integration videos for Home Assistant, Sonoff sent me their Zigbee Dongle Plus USB stick and they asked me if I wanted to look into it. So I tested it and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set it up to create your own Zigbee network. Sonoff sent me their Zigbee 3.0 USB Dongle Plus. First of all, I want to say that I'm not getting paid by Sonoff for this video. They've just sent it for free to me to test it out and see what I think. If you'd like to buy it, I created some links in the description below and I do get some affiliate fees from that. So if you want to support me, you can do that. I tested this Zigbee stick with my Zigbee devices and I must say it works really well. And it's not expensive at all. So I would say, yes, you can buy it safely to build your own Zigbee network. Now, let's see how this stick works and how you can set it up. Let's take it out of the box first. Let's see what's in it. So there is a stick and an antenna. It looks pretty fine. It looks like there is some heat sink around it, but it's not, it's just plastic. So let's put the antenna aside. And what we need to do to use the stick is that we have to upgrade the firmware first. And that for that, we have to open the stick. So let's unscrew these screws. And open the stick and it's really simple take everything off and now you have the print board of the stick left there are two buttons on the stick one is a switch to put the stick in bootloader mode and the other one is to reset the stick but we're not really going to use the other one so let's connect the stick to our computer first and I use a USB extension cable for it because that makes it a lot easier. But you can also put the stick straight into your computer. Now that the extension cable is connected to the stick, we are going to put the stick in bootloader mode. For that, we are going to click on the bootloader button. And in the meantime, we are going to connect the stick to our computer. And then we keep pressing this button for approximately 10 seconds to make sure that it's in bootloader mode. So now it's in bootloader mode, let's get the software running. The firmware can be found on this site. This site contains a lot of firmware for various sticks. So we have to find the correct firmware for our Sonoff Zigbee Dongle Plus. The link to this site is of course in the description below. If we scroll down on this page and we get all the way to the bottom, we will see the correct firmware for our Zonoff Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle stick. That is this firmware. So we have to download that firmware. So let's go up again. And then we are going to download the specific firmware. Click on download. And now it's downloaded. Now that the firmware is downloaded, we have to install the flashing software to flash that software to our stick. For that, we are going to the Texas Instruments site. The link is in the description below. And this site contains the software to flash the firmware. So let's go to Downloads and click on Download Options. And there we will find a link to the Windows installer for Smart RF Flash Programmer 2. Click on it. And now you have to log in on this site. If you don't have an account yet, of course, you have to create an account first. I already have that. So I'm going to log in and it's going to ask me some questions before I can download it. I have to say that I'm civil and i'm going to say yes here and click submit and i can download the software by clicking on download and now it's downloaded i'm going to install the software i'll click on next i agree next install it's being installed to 
my PC and now I'm going to finish and start the software. When the Flash software is installed, there are a couple of things that we have to do. First, we are going to select our stick and we can do that in the left upper corner. You already see Silicon Labs over there and you see Unknown. So when you click on Unknown, then you can select the target device and we are going to select the CC2652P over there. Then we are going to select our firmware that we downloaded from our hard drive. So that is this file, which ends on hex. Open it and we are going to set the settings as follows. And then we are going to click on start. Now it's working. It's flashing. And then it is going to verify the flashing. And if everything worked well, you get a success message, which means that your stick is flashed correctly. Now that the stick is flashed, we can put the stick back together again. First, we're going to turn off the power and we're going to remove the extension cable. And now we are going to reassemble the stick. So we put it back in its case and we are going to put the screws back in. So now we can attach the antenna. And that's it. That is how you update your Sonoff Zigbee stick. And now you can use your Sonoff Zigbee stick to create your own Zigbee network. For that, check out my videos about installing Zigbee to MQTT or ZHA to build your own Zigbee network. Both videos support this stick as well. I hope this video helped you. If so, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tick on the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.